Lord, today, thank you for these. Thank you for the mind you've given us today, Lord. To simmer, God, we want to thank you for letting us have this mind, God. Or oh, this going to be a record book brought before you. Or oh, that, that singer say, when you read our record, God, when you read my record, Lord, I want you to say, well done. That we have pressed and strive. We, have, we continue on with you through hard times, through tempting times. Lord, thank you, Father, for putting that within us, Lord. This is just run with patience with our eyes looking on to you, Lord. I thank you for that, Lord. Blocking out everything else and let nothing else get a hold of us, Lord. That that would turn us, that would stop us, that would every spirit of discouragement got turned away. I pray. I thank you for raising up a standard. Oh, Kasalehe Usala Zile Kristalaka Mandolo Re. Oh, mighty Lamb of God. I thank you, Father, for being God. Thank you for being the kind of God that you are. Thank you for looking down on your old people today. Thank you for having ears to hear. Lord, I thank you. God, help us to be faithful to you. Put a spirit in us, God, that be faithful to you, Lord, that that our eyes don't get on nothing else but you, that you always got to be in our view. Lord, I'm asking, I thank you. Lord, help the people to strengthen them. Lord, encourage them. God, I pray, do something for them. Wake us all up. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you for those that will be tuned in today, Lord, and these that are here. In the name of Jesus, Lord, speak to our hearts today, Lord. Give us utterance. Speak, Lord. Heal the sick today that be among us. Lord, give the bound deliverance. Give victory. Lord, you told you the same today, yesterday, and forever. I was telling Brother Fred, when he told me I was concerned that him getting that car, I'm trying to drive. You know, you don't run other people's business. You know, they run their own business. Men may keep them up in prayer. Men keep those cards up in prayer. There's something else I was going to say. I forgot. But anyway, get a lot of hand pray. We're going to get into <laughs> So I appreciate those of you. Th those of you here today, we appreciate you. And we covered your prayers. I thank God for you. Thank God for you having a mind to, you know, we got to serve God. We, got, we have to stand alone. We got to serve God. That's one thing to say. He got to be in our hearts, yes. and he has to be in our hearts. Yes. You know, this this is an individual thing, sister. Day, I mean, you got to pause that I may know him. This is a personal, a personal thing with God. You know, and we got to have that. I thank God for. We're gonna get into the. So we're gonna have you just sing a song, testify, whatever you feel led to do. We really appreciate you. You know, just let Jesus have His way, just like. Everybody's here, you know. Jesus here, so yes, yes. I feel good. I thank for waking me up. You know, I laid. Yes, yes. Man, I laid there last night, man. Man, my back just bothered me all night last night. But, uh, but uh, I thank God. And with a mind, woke up this mind, sister. Sight with a mind to serve God. With a mind to acknowledge Him, to confess Him. I woke up with that mind, you know. That's Lord, thank you. I had something to thank God for. Man had pain last night. I, I had something to thank God for this morning. I, I, Lord, thank you. And I thank God for it. We go, sister. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This, like Brother Austin was saying, thank God that he woke us up this morning. Even when we got pain, still thanking God for the pain because yes. he could not let us experience anything. We never know what to thank him for. You know, right. I thank God myself just uh, bringing me through this week. I said, I don't know what you want to call this. I said, I don't know if it was a Mike Tyson, Joe Frazier fight going on inside of me. I said, Lord, I said, Jesus, you got to help me. But he was still right there walking right beside me. All right. Even when all this was going on on the inside, I said, Jesus, 
please take me through because I don't know how to go through on my own, but I know you're there with me. That's right, sister. And I just thank him so much for just bringing me to this day. When I woke up this morning, I didn't feel the same way. And I know it's not about a feeling, but it's about faith. I said, God, I thank you for whatever it was that was really worn on the inside of me. I thank you for helping me and lifting that burden. You know, I don't feel that heaviness like I was all during the week, but I thank God. <clears throat> victory, victory shall be mine, shall be mine. Victory, oh, victory shall be mine, shall be mine. If I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battle. Praise God. Victory, victory shall be I. It is I. The Bible tells us, Jesus tells us, that the gates of hell. The gates of hell shall not prevail. I mean, that's, that's, that's cement in heaven right there, sister. 
Gates of hell will not prevail. I was talking to somebody the other day, and he was calling me, and I was telling about he's talking about this, this uh, vaccine and stuff. And he was talking about the as you were telling me that they were offering the people a million dollars. I said, I just don't believe that to take that shot. I said, all these people ain't got that vaccine. Who do you think they can afford to give people a million dollars? I said, you can't believe all this stuff you hear. But I went on telling them, I said, listen here, the Bible say, if our name is written in that Lamb Book of Life, I don't care what's going on, we, we ain't going to accept that. Amen. We're not going to accept it. I don't care what we have to go through. I said, the people, the name is not written in there, then they're going to accept it, regardless. So say, if our name written in that Lamb Book of Life, thank God, look at it. I don't care what we had to go through. I don't care what come or go. Thank God we will not. God's going to prepare us. He's going to help us. He done put something in us. And if they, he'll, put it, he'll wake that up that he had put in us. Thank God he'll give us that mind. At that hour, the gates of hell shall not prevail. We, don't, we can't figure this thing out right now. We don't see it right now. We can't figure this stuff out. We can't see how we're going to make it. Let me tell you something. The gates of hell will not prevail against God's church. He just ain't going to do it. We got to walk in faith, walk in trust, got to believe God, got to walk this life, looking to Jesus, trusting Jesus, depend upon Jesus. Because he's the answer. He's the way. Can't no man figure this stuff out. Man, we just have to look to Jesus and trust him. Trust him, thank God. And I believe he's going to help us this day. I believe he's going to see us through this stuff. Man, that we just continue on, that we endure until the end, that we will not lose faith, not lose hope. Let's keep pushing, make no difference how much we stumble, how often we fall, and we just keep striving, keep pressing, keep looking to Jesus. Thank God, I believe God. He said he calls us all. Thank be unto God, he said that in Corinthians, who calls us what? Always what? The triumph. Always. God always calls us to triumph. Always. I don't care what it is out there. He said, thank me that calls us always to triumph because great is he that is in us and he that is in the world. Thank God. Thank God. I don't care what it has to go so there. I'm going to make it. Going to make it. I don't know what's all out there for us to go through, but thank God. Thank God. I'm going to walk this old heavenly gates one day. Thank God. He's going to say to me, well done, servant. Well done. Come on in. Come on in. Thank God. We appreciate the Lord. Come on, sister Sight. Come on, let the Lord have his way in you. Thank God for you, faith for you too, and faithful and down there. I thank God for the faithfulness. Appreciate God for Jesus. Yes. We thank the Lord for our health and our strength, our food, clothing, shelter, transportation, our jobs, the use of our members, our limbs. You know, we just thank God for warm water and just electricity, everything that he gives us that's for conveniences for us. He didn't need anything like this for himself, but he gave them to help us because he loved us so much. And I do appreciate him. Yes. And most of all, I appreciate the Lord for this word. Because the word is going to last forever. Everything else is going to pass away. Yes. But the word of God is going to last forever. And I'm just praying and asking the Lord Jesus Christ to Thank put you, it in my heart. You know, and I, the, the most thing God said he wants us to do is love ye one another. One another. And I always hear Brother Austin say this yes. scripture. That love covers a multitude, yes. you know, of sin or yes. false or whatever it may be. You know, I'm just praying, God, give me that love that covers. Give me that love that thinketh no evil. Give me that type love, God. All Not right. the love that when I'm hugging you, I really don't like you, but I'm just doing it out of it's supposed to be the Come right thing to yes. do. You know, if I say you look good, it's just the right thing to do. Right. But I said, Lord, help me. Right. Whatever I do, whatever I say, let it be from my heart. Yes. You know, and I want to be real with the Lord. It's all right. You can fake and fraud and say so much stuff amongst people so they can just, so you can look good to them. But it's how the Lord looks at us. That's right. it. That's what's in your hand. He sees our yes, hearts. Does. No matter what we do, what we say, he sees our hearts. Yes, but he I does. was thinking earlier this week when I was praying Thursday, Friday, Wednesday, whatever day it was, and I began to think on Jesus and how He's in the scripture said, in the beginning, God, he was already here. In the beginning, God. And then he was already here. 
And then he began to create and make different things. And everything he made, it was provision for man. Yes, it was. So I said, Lord, yes, and man came here. So everything, I heard Brother Lawson say this is in scripture, that if he made everything, the animals and things, gave man dominion, told him to go to multiply and be fruitful and multiply. And he gave man dominion. Mm -hmm. And he made everything first. Then he made, made man. That's right. And I was thinking about it. I said, Lord, but you made all these provisions Provision. for man yes. before you made Yes. Made him. So I said, Lord, I thank you so much. It just made me think about how great Jesus is. Yes. He's so great. He's so wonderful. Everything when he was thinking, he was here when he was thinking and made everything, he made it for man. Oh, man. See, he put man here and the provisions are here. All right. So the only thing we got to do is work with God. Work Her with brother Austin said this one time, and my nephew told me this. He said, I'm just going to ride with him. Yes. So we just got to ride with him. Ride yes, we're going to have trials. We're going to have tribulations. Yes. We're going to have up. We're going to have downs. Yes, but it's are. all part of life. But we just got to ride with Jesus. Yes. No matter what the storm be like, Jesus already wrote it. Hallelujah. Oh. For our lives individually, he already wrote it. Thank what you. our lives going to be with what the book is. Yes. But I'm saying, Lord, help me to trust you, to believe you, no matter what comes or what goes. Yes. I want to believe in Jesus yes. because times are going to get harder than what they are. They're going to get harder. We're going to be tested more and more. He said the devil is trying to wear our patience out. Uh -huh. But my eyes upon Jesus. Up on Jesus. You know, and I just appreciate yes. him so much because I'm looking at him now, how great he is. Yes. He's a big God. Yes, he's yes. a great God. And it also says in the scripture, he's a terrible God. Yes. He's great. He's so great indescribable. Yes. You can't describe it. I heard Brother also say, sometimes he wondered, well, where did he come from? When he was telling me Jesus, God was here all the time, and I was just praying. I said, man, you would think where he come from. Yes. But no matter, I can't think that it don't stay on my mind. That's right. Whatever it is, he, he's here. Yes. And he was intelligent. He's loving, he's kind, he's long-suffering, he's gentle, he's patient. You know, and people that don't believe in him, if they believe in these other gods, God still take care of them. That's, right. That's what makes him so good. Yes, I yes. just appreciate him because he don't overlook nobody. They may not believe that he's doing something oh, for them. On, they might believe yes. leaving the stone gods, yes. the gods that burn in fire, burn your children fire, but he's still yes. looking out. For souls, and that's he's that's who he's concerned about. I appreciate Jesus for saving me. Yes, I appreciate yes. Jesus for just thinking on us and just being so mindful of us. And then I just thought about went back in my life, and I just thought about how the Lord had kept me for so many things. You know, and I just appreciate Him. Even a wretch undone, He was still keeping me. Yes, yes. When I didn't wake up and acknowledge Him, He was still leading me in my sin to come to Him. I appreciate for appreciate yes, yes. a great Jesus. Yes. And I'm going to stay with this name. All right, now. I don't care if they don't believe in this name. Right, I'm going to stay with this name stay with because this name works. Yes. It's the only name that's been to India, Africa, China, all other countries where people were saved and delivered. Y'all yeah. pray my strength in the Lord. Oh, praise God. He is the only. You know, I think when she was saying that he made provision. Everything God done is made provision for us. Yeah. Wasn't it? Thank God he got everything ready for man. When he made man, everything's already, he already had provision for him. Everything. Man didn't have to, matter of fact, man didn't have to work. He had no sin, he had to work. Everything's already, but after they sinned, he had to, then he had to go out there and, and work by the sweat of his own bride. You know? Other than that, God had everything. If he hadn't sinned, Sister Dale, I always Sister Rose said, she don't feel too good about Adam and Eve. She said, she said, ain't got no good feelings about this because we had it made. But how many know we got it made not through Jesus? Amen. We may have trials and tests, but we got it made through Jesus. Amen. The Bible said we are more than conquerors. I believe that. I believe the devil just can't get us down. The devil can't stop us. I don't care what he do. He can fight against us. But let me tell you, the devil cannot stop us. Thank God we got it made in Jesus. Not that we won't go through some suffering and stuff, but that's all right. The Bible says, that's right, Jesus, he suffered. As he suffered in the flesh, I myself, what? Likewise with that same mind. Didn't stop Jesus, man. Jesus never got discouraged, thank God, of the thing that he went through. And as he is, the Bible says, what? So are we, where? In this world. As he is, so, there, so are we. And the devil can't take that away from him. Oh, he may try to discourage and lie to you, but the devil cannot take that away. 
as Jesus is, so are we. In this world. In this world. I thank God for it. You know? I appreciate those you keep pressing. The Bible says, you know, whatever we do for God. I preached that one time, whatever your hand find to do. Do it with all your might. You know, in, in Luke 19, I didn't get to the script right. In Luke 19, there was Zachari Zachariah, Zacchaeus. They got on Jesus. Jesus, you going home to be with a, you going to a man how that's a sinner? Zacchaeus said, listen here. So I, man, I give half my goods. I forgive the poor and all this stuff. Zacchaeus was a sinner, but yet still he was doing stuff that found favor with God, didn't he? Found favorite guy, you know, uh, Rahab, they were holler. You know, she hid, she hid those spies up, you know, and put them up. And she, here, this one was a harlot. But she did things that found favorite God. And they, and they protected and kept her because, you know, I tell people, whatever you can do, do it for God. I mean, you may not, we're going to need God's favor somewhere. Anyway, thank God I said, look out, do something for God. You know, whatever you do, do it for God, you can find favor. Jesus said, man, look at some salvation come to your house, Zacchaeus. Yeah. Thank God. He said, man, if I mistreat anybody, did anything wrong, I give them fourfold. Yeah. But you know, oh, Tabitha, Dorcas, then act. When she yeah. died, thank God, the Bible said, what she had, they were showing them all them quiz and stuff she had made. She had did many um deeds. They did a lot of good deeds for people, stuff like that. But found favor. Yeah. 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 And then when she died, thank God, God sent Peter by that, raised her back up. Man, we can do stuff to find favor in God. Whatever it is, don't make it to find favor. We're going to need this favor in God. That's a day we're going to need Jesus to do something for us. Yeah. Amen. This Rahab was a harlot, thank God, but she found favor. Yeah. Zacchaeus was a sinner, but he was doing stuff and caused God to find favor. And I tell people, look, you need to do something for God. Yeah. You may not be so-called what you call a Christian saint, but do something. Bless God's people. Bless God. Bless the men to do something, man. As unto the Lord. You know? And so we're going to need favor of God. You know, man, to be saved and say, but you need, you need to find favor of God somewhere. Do something. Thank God to call G to find favor with you. I thank God. I thank God. Today. I appreciate the Lord. We won't hold you long. I pray that God just help his people, stir his people. I was talking to the, uh, I was talking to the, uh, I was talking to the sister. And uh, thank God she was talking about this uh, virus stuff. I don't think she really believed in taking it. I don't think she really believed in taking that, uh, taking that vaccine, you know. They're doing something. They're doing something. I, said, I told her, listen here. We got to believe God in a way. In the way you go. So they're doing some kind of trick. I said, but this ain't the mark of the beast. That's what this stuff is for. And when, we, when, we, when they offer you that thing, you're going to know what's going on. You're going to know. You're going to have an opportunity to accept it or not. You're going to have an opportunity to say they're going to know what this ain't about. This ain't about. Buying or selling, nothing like that. This is about this old virus this year, you know. And uh, as when that when that happened, you're gonna know. Yeah. But you ain't gonna be about sell. They gonna you gonna know, but you won't be about nothing. You can't sell. Nothing. You can't do this. You can't do it. They gonna let you know what it's for. Yeah. You know. You know. And God gonna have to keep us. And now and then, He's gonna have to. Yeah. So that's why I so say we need to do what we can for God. Man, I thank God for the faith of you that, you know, I said, God, this, man, this thing link another year, man. Where, I don't know where the people going to be at. Because somebody got to learn to start trusting God, believing God, you know. Yeah, got to. You know, for the devil, he'll put up stuff as long as he can to stop us. And I've been praying all the time, God, you know, I ask that question a lot. Are you holding on? Are you still holding on? One script says a little leaving, let to hold up. Sometimes we don't want our country to get sick. Sometimes we get in the place where we, uh, you know, uh, get relaxed and confident, you know, maybe sitting at home, not going away. And that's fear to get hold of you. We've been praying. I've been praying, God, help your people. Help us. Help us. So, Sister Dale, that's going to be a record book open. God's going to read our record, you know. 
And that's why it's good for us to do all we can do. Everything, look, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't vain. The Bible says, know not that your works, your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Your, our labor is not in vain. In the, but you know what? God's got to put that mind about us, put that spirit about us. Because sometimes us there, we'll look around, we'll get discouraged. Think I want to give up. Let me tell you something. You can't do it. We got to keep our eyes. We got to behold, as John the Baptist say, behold that Lamb of God. We got to keep our eyes upon Jesus. And if we keep our eyes on Jesus, there's no discouragement out there. Jesus do not give off them kind of vibes. You know? If you got him, you got everything. If you got Jesus, you got everything. Listen to this. I'm going to speak for a few minutes. I really appreciate you. Thank God for you holding on. Listen, all that you do for Jesus, let me tell you, it's going to pay off. Serving the Lord is going to pay off. Jesus told one scripture, you're going to, they're going to smite the shepherd and the sheep are going to scatter, didn't he say? They're going to scatter. You're going to smite the shepherd and the sheep are going to scatter. Thank God. So we got to try to keep our, let's go to the book of uh, John 6, St. John 6. And, uh, I had this, these scripts for another time, but I didn't get a chance to get to them. But keep everyone up in prayer. Sister Earlene, I think she lost her sister. Sister Earlene Ever. I think I just heard about it yesterday, I believe, but keep up in prayer. Do we pray for the family, the Reed family? I think I think this is her sister. She passed. I mean, we the third one day, I think. Anyway, to keep up in prayer. I haven't got a chance to talk to her yet. But uh, I will. So remember her. Remember that family in prayer. That's why we need to be trying to ready. We need to strive to be ready. I mean, we need to, the Bible says, run with patience, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finish. We need to run looking unto Jesus. We accept him as our personal Savior, as our sacrifice, sister, psycho. When we lead this over, but we need a Savior. You got to have a Savior when we lead this over. No doubt about it. You got to have a Savior when we lead this world. And so today, it behooves us to do everything we can. You know, resist. Sometimes we may stumble here and fall, but we need to do everything we can to resist this devil. Please, Jesus, because this, after this life, we're going to live forever somewhere. We're going to live in peace or we're going to live in torment. After this life. And the Bible says this life is we are, uh, it's a print on the man, what, once? That is an appointment. Jesus didn't say it. He said it's a print on the man, wants to die. After that's just we're going to stand before the judgment seat of God. You know? So the prince is there. Like, we gonna, I ain't no you up. We're going to leave it. I ain't, ain't nothing ready to go. I know I'm not ready. I ask God every day for life. Amen. You know, but I ain't God. But I'm asking him. I don't know what his, his mind is. But I'm trying to, I, I tried to, trying to you know, convince him. Yes. I'm worth standing around here for a while. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. I tell you guys, God, I may be talking sometimes in kind of a crazy way, but look, don't hold it again. Because some, I may not know how to talk in something, but I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you tell us whatsoever man, whenever, whatsoever thing we desire when we pray. I said, God, you help us. Yeah. And I'm asking, sister, I don't know how God does things, but I'm asking him. Yeah. But as a praying on a man wants to die, and after that we know this, then the judgment. So it's best for us to have a savior. Yeah. It's worth us, man, to do everything we can, man, to lay aside every weight. We're going to have our stumbling and falling. Yeah. But thank God, keep that savior there. Keep a savior there on your side. Thank God, keep a savior, keep a deliverer there on your side. Thank God, sister. He said, man, he'll, he'll deliver you, he'll help you. Yeah. He'll forgive you all your sin. He'll bring you through all your trials. and yeah. He'll bring you through those things. Yeah. So that, that's what a savior for. Yeah. Man, that's what a savior for. That's what a, a deliverer is for. Thank God to help you. You know what? If we didn't ever have no trouble to fall, we didn't need no savior. We didn't need Jesus to come. Didn't need him. Thank God. We need him. That's why he came to be a savior. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. And we never have no troubles with there. We don't need those, man. Because he knew we were going to go through stuff. He knew. But we were around again. So he come down to be our savior. Be our personal savior. Yeah. Yeah. To be our and I thank God for it. For that love that covered the mother too, say. Cover the mother tooth. Sister, sister, that's the kind of say we got. We want to cover the mother tooth. Cover the mother tooth. Thank God. Man, we got mother tooth. He said, I come down, I cover the mother tooth. 
of your sin. I cover the mud. Sister, he's a real, you hear me say, oh, he's a real Savior. He's a real Savior. He's a genuine Savior. He ain't no make-believe, a pretender. He is a Savior full of love, compassion, man, full of long suffering for everything we need. He's full of it. That's what Sykes said. Thank God he made provision for man. Thank God. When he come down to offer himself up, he made provision for us. Made provision. You know, when he, uh, in the beginning, he made provision for man to survive and live. But thank God, when he come down and offer himself up, he made provision for our sins. The Bible said, man, he will offer man for us, hung up for our offenses, and raised for our justification. Man, he made provision for our sin. If any man confess, he's faithful and just enough to forgive us and to cleanse us from all our sin. Made provision for us. And Sister Deborah, we got to hold on to him. Man, we got to hold on to him. You can't let him go. You got to hold on to Jesus. He's our only. Ain't nobody going to live this thing good enough. We strive to live right, strive to live safe, strive to live a godly life. But let me tell you something. We got to have Jesus through all of that. We got to have Jesus. Listen to this. Sometimes I hate to get talking like that because I get off and won't get to where I want to get to. I mean, know it'll be all right. And I thank God for Jesus. I said, Jesus, I know I lift you up a lot and talk about you a lot, but I just don't see no other way out of this thing. I just can't see no way. I may be blind to that, but I just can't see another way. You know what, Sister Dad, the Bible says, what, to resist the devil, submit yourself unto the Lord, resist the devil, he free, but how can we resist if somebody ain't there to help us? The Bible says we ain't right to get flesh and blood, but spirits. Flesh and blood, man, your flesh and blood can't resist. We need Jesus to help us. He told us in one street we can do nothing without him. He, we need him that God help me to resist this devil. Because if Jesus don't help you resist the devil, you ain't going to resist that. We need the Holy Ghost to help us. Everything we, we got to have Jesus help us. Man, we get out there and strive and he'll get it. He said, I helped you. Thank God. You know, don't think you're going to resist that devil on your own. You ain't going to do it. If you can do that, then Jesus could have stayed up there where he was at. I, I, I acknowledge that. I know we got to have him. I acknowledge him. Sister, sister, devil, he's my all in all. He's my everything. He's my everything, sister, devil. My, my, all, my everything. I look to him and I acknowledge him to be the source. Everything we got in there, Jesus is the source. He's our source. Listen, St. John. Man, I almost hate to get into this. Right there. Yeah. I thank God. Man, I, I tell him, sister, I, I got God, you real, Jesus. I know you're real. I said, I may not understand the depths of you, but I know you're real. I believe you. I may not understand the depth of Jesus. You know, I may not understand all that he is, but I believe him. I believe he's, he's our everything. I, I believe in trying to acknowledge him in all my ways. You know, Man, he, He's everything to me. And I try to let him know that. Jesus, you're, my, you're everything to me. I may come weak, but you're everything to me. You, I, God, I look to you. I trust your word. I look to your word. I believe what your word says. And I'm looking to you for that. I may not act like it. I may not look like it. But one thing about Jesus knows in our heart. He knows with that. Thank God he's going to, when he look at us this day, he's going to look in the heart. He's going to look at our hearts. Like the Lord thinks, you know. Sometimes down there we mess up, we make mistakes. But let me tell you one thing. Jesus, looking in your heart, man. And that's what they judge us from our heart, you know. As long as you're in the flesh of death, you're going you're gonna to slip and slide. That song said, peeping and hiding, slipping and sliding. Yeah. May not be peeping and hiding, but you're going to be slipping and sliding. Yeah. But thank God we got somebody to catch us. Yeah. Maybe slide off track, you got somebody to pick us up and put us back on track. Yeah. And his name is Jesus. Amen. Listen. And we got to know him. John 6, verses 40 through 47. Thank you, Father. 
And I, I won't probably read all these scriptures, but and Father, sanctify this word. I, I'll be briefly be, but I thank you. Lord, bless the peoples to begin to those that can come. Lord, you know how my mind is and how I feel, Lord. I bless them, God. Don't let the devil get a hold of people. And just, just God, do something for your people. To help us to keep striving and keep pressing, God. Lord, you're going to reward every man according to his deeds and what he's done, God. I, Lord, help us to stand before you, not ashamed. Help us to stand before you, Lord, in faith and in confidence. Speak with us today. And I thank you. And this is the will of him that sent me. And we minister on to know Jesus and to know God. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believes on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last they, everyone which see the Son and believe it on Him. So today you got to believe on Him. Thank God you got to believe who He is, what He say He is. You got to believe He's your everything. And you don't need nothing outside of Jesus. And nothing there can help you outside of Jesus. You got to believe on Him. You got to take Him for your everything. Your all in all. Your keeper. Your provider. Your protector. One that keep your family. Man, I keep my children, my grandchildren. I keep all of them up. Before God, my loved one, relative, all your loved ones, your relative. I keep them up every day before God. Believe on them. You know, some of them may not be walking right, but God help them there. Help them. Man, if they've heard of you, help them to believe on you. He said, I give them everlasting life. Listen, listen, Jews then murmured. At him, because he said, I am the bread which cometh down from heaven. He was speaking about this bread of life here on early in this chapter. And they said, is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, who father and mother we know? How is it then that he said, I came down from heaven? Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the father which has sent me draw him, and I will raise him up. At the last day, it is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught of God. Every man, therefore, that has heard and has learned of the Father, do what? Come unto me. They all shall be taught. It's written in your law, written in your prophecy. All shall be taught. Taught of God. And the Bible say that in the, I think it's I think it's in Luke in John. In John seven, yeah. John seven. I ain't got it written down there, but listen, this scripture says they all shall be taught of God. But it said there in John seven there that Jesus said they was how this man have doctrine? How this man know? How can this man explain all this stuff and never had learned? Jesus went on telling what? My doctor what? It's not a mine, but him. That's John 7, 14 through 18, I believe. My doctor not mine, but him that sent me. The Bible said here, they all share what? Be taught of God. And then John 7, he said, how can this man teach? How can the man say not never learn? He said, my doctor, how does this man have doctrine? Jesus said, my doctor, not mine. But him that sent me, this is God doctrine. He said, all shall be taught of God. This is not mine, but this is God doctrine. And they were being taught of God. So that we got to know who Jesus is. We got to know him. They all shall be taught of God. Jesus, my doctrine, not mine, but I'm teaching you the doctrine that come from God. It's not mine. And so that we can't have our own doctrine. We can't have our own doctrine. We got to, we got to, man, you just can't have it. I don't care how good it sounds, what it makes you feel like. 
but we got to have the doctrine of God. It is written in the prophet, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man, therefore, that hears, that has heard, and has learned of the Father coming to me. Not that any man has seen the Father, save he which is of God. He has seen the Father. Oh, my God. Not any man, not that any man has seen the Father. Oh, Jesus, laying it out to him, ain't it? They run around confessing this and confessing that, but Jesus tells them, listen, not that any man has seen the Father. Say, ain't no man seen the Father. No man. You know? They call on God in the Bible, you know, but they had never seen him. Only God they ever seen was Jesus. Yeah. Well, they heard, they heard from him, but they hadn't seen him. Even Moses didn't see him. You know? He said, you can't look up on my face. No man can look at my face and live. Most of them, I'm put my hands before your face and I pass by and say, you'll see my hind part. And I spoke this one time, that hind part, I'm not saying this as a doctor, this hind part could have been Jesus. You're going to see my back side. You're going to see me coming on later on that Jesus came along and he didn't see the face of God, but Jesus came along after then. What? God in the flesh. Everything God, well, Jesus is. He said, you're going to see my hind part. Couldn't see his face. So it's that part. You know. Not that me and any man has seen the Father, say this he which is of God. He has seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me has what? Everlasting life. My doctrine is not mine, Jesus said. So you all be taught of God. We got to know who God is. We got to know this doctrine that we're teaching. It's the doctrine of God. You know? It's this doctrine. And they are one, Sister Deborah. Jesus and God is one. You can't know Jesus. You can't know God and not know Jesus. You, 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 you just can't do it. And you can't, you can't separate them. You can't separate them. You can't talk about God and Jesus as two different persons. The Bible says God is a spirit, didn't it? And they that worship in John 4, I believe God is spirit. And they that worship him, what? Must worship him, what? And spirit and in truth. For the Father, what? Seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit. And God that flesh, that man, that, the word was made flesh. The word made flesh and dwell among. The word made flesh. In the beginning, what's the word the Bible say? In the beginning, you said, Sister Psyche, I believe that it was God, one of y'all. In the beginning, God. He was there. In the beginning, God. And the Bible says, in the beginning, the Word. The Word was God. And the same Word was made flesh. Oh, so to say, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. And that same Word was what? Made flesh and what? Dwelt among us. We got to know Jesus. No, he is. You can't, you can't go, you can't separate them, sister. When you're praying, you're praying to one. Amen. You got to, you're praying to one. You got to know who he is. Listen. First John, first John 4 and 1 through 6. Now give me a few minutes here. Huh? To know who Jesus is. Thank God. The Bible said they all shall be, your prophet said they all shall be taught of God. And Jesus said, my doctrine is not mine, but him that sent me. Letting you know right then, you're being taught of God. Just like the script had already said, all shall be taught of God. My doctrine not mine, but him that sent me. So they're being taught of God. Listen to 1 John 4, and verses uh, 1 through 6. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they uh, of God be called what? Many false prophets are going out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit what? of Antichrist. Whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Ye are of God, little children. And have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world. 
Therefore speak they of the world, and the world hears them. We have God. He that knoweth God, what? Hear us. He that's not of God, hear not of us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. The Bible says, man, that they that know God going to hear us. We got to know who God is. We got to know him. He said, if you know God, you're going to hear us. It's impossible for us. Jesus said what? My sheep hears my voice. And that ain't no lie. Jesus ain't speaking this stuff. So that this, he said, my sheep hears my voice. And a stranger, I don't care what's going on in here. I don't care how many tricks to come along. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. And a stranger, they ain't going to follow. The gates of hell ain't going to prevail. Some kind of way Jesus is going to, we, we are recognizing his voice. And the Bible is saying that they that know God, what? Going to hear us because we are speaking, there's no question about it. We are speaking for God. We are speaking by God's spirit. If you know God, you're going to hear us. We got to know him. God help us to know you. Yeah. He said, we know this spirit of Antichrist. Yeah. They that know God. Sister Deborah, if you speak in truth, you speak in God, speak in truth, then you got a bunch out there saying they're Christian, what they are, and then and don't say, no, they ain't there. Look, it can't be so. John said, if they know God, they that know God are going to hear us. Speaking by the same things. Speaking by the same spirit. Man, more about that, that same spirit. You know? The Bible said the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet. If you know God, you're going to hear us, he said. Because we know what spirit we are speaking by. You know? I mean, people, the sister there, if you're speaking by God, and man, the people reject you and come and say, don't you worry about that. If you know you're speaking by God, they that know God, Jesus, John said, they that know God are going to hear us. Yeah. And so we don't have to turn around and worry about it. You know? Just go on your way. On your way. You know you're speaking by God. Go on your way. Yeah. If you know God, you're going to hear us. Yeah. And so, Dad, we ain't got time to be arguing and bickering and fighting. You know? Jesus said, Behold, what I stand at doing, I knock. And if any man hear my voice and open the door, I'll come in. And I suck with him. You know. You know. My sheep hears my voice. When a stranger. One thing about a stranger ain't gonna follow. I mean, his sheep ain't gonna follow strangers. Ain't gonna strange, ain't gonna follow strange boys. It's something about us, sister. You may not have a, a the deep understanding, but it's something about the spirit of God. It's something about the spirit of God. It'll lead you and guide you. It'll help you. It'll draw you. It'll be something about it that pulls you. Listen, John 14. St. John 14. You know, how many excited about Jesus? I tell you, let me tell you something. Man. Are you excited? I am excited about him. I thank God. You know what? He came down the road with me today. He came all the way down the road with me today. He woke me up this morning. Yeah. And he was with me all the way, you know. Yeah. And I thank God I got somebody to ride with me. Yeah. You know, Sister Austin, we went to Texas. We were going to Texas one. I believe we were going out to Austin, I believe. Austin, the bay, somewhere. Anyway. It's at night, so I pulled and let her drove. I pulled over and let her drive a while. I said, but you drive a while enough. And sister, sister said, she may drive you to every time I've had this rock head stop hitting her. I said, pull over, honey. <laughs> I couldn't get no respect to you. I said, you ride with me. <laughs> I said, you, you just ride with me. So that's what we got to do. We got Jesus riding with us. 
Thank God we got somebody to ride with us. Yeah. Better ride with us. Thank God. I, I, I'm glad about that. I'm glad. Amen. Sister, the Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tie and a righteous. I'm glad I got a name. I'm glad I got a name, thank God, that a, and a man that'll ride with me, a name that I can use, thank God, I can, a man I can bring him from home with me. Everywhere I go, all day long, uh, he's willing to ride with me. He's willing to ride with me. So there, and so there you need him. You need him. You need him. He done left us a name that's above every name. That's above every name. Thank God. Man, you tell me ain't excited about that? I can call them in trouble. I can call them in peace, time of peace. I can call them any time of the day of the night. Thank God he ain't never too busy. Yes, yes, Thank you. Bible says he that keep it ill don't what? Sleep. Don't slumber. You, you can never catch Jesus sleeping. can never catch him. Uh, he's always so there, wide awake. And his ears is always open. Thank God. He's setting that ears open just waiting on a, a cry from his people. Waiting on, thank God, to hear his people voice. Never sleep. Never slumber. He's just waiting to hear our voice. All the time. Man, we got a Savior. We got a Savior. And I know he ain't good enough for him, but thank God he's good enough for me. Thank God he's good enough for me. Good enough for me. Listen, 14, John, St. John 14, verse 1 through 11. Let not your heart be troubled. I want to get to a special verse here. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whether I go, ye know, and the way, ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Listen, if ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it will please us. It will sacrifice us. Jesus said unto him, have I been so long time with you? And yet had thou not known me, Philip. He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou, then show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the work. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works sake. Philip, Jesus told Philip, said, listen, when you see me, you... You've seen it, Father. I'm letting you know, Phil, to know me. When you see me, how's I been so long time with you? Philip, that you don't know me. Thank God you did the miracles. And the words I speak to you, that spirit in life. You've been with me so long, you don't recognize who I am. You don't recognize me. And the mother flying the fishes in the low, speaking to the storm. The wind and the rain waves and they obey. Yes, yes. You don't recognize me? Man, speaking to the blind and they start seeing the cripple, the halt, the lame, the lepers have been cleansed. Thank God the dead been raised. And Philip, you've been so long time with me and you don't know me. But Nick Deem said, no man can do these miracles except God be with him. It had to be God. No man can do it except God. This had to be God. Yes. He said, you've been so long time with me. Listen, uh, 1 Timothy 3. 1 Timothy 3, maybe 16, but I ain't got it written down. But I'm gonna... Listen, 
He said, he told Philip, said, Philip, since I've been with you all this time and you don't know me. Listen to what it says. In, yeah, First Timothy 3 and verses 16. Listen, Jesus told Philip, said, Philip, man, I've been with you all this time. You've been with me all this time and you don't know me? He said, when you've seen the Father, you see me. Philip said, show us the Father, it'll please us, it'll make us happy. Jesus said, when you see the Father, you see me, Philip. He said, you got to know who I am, Philip. You can't go around and be like the rest of, like this other world. You got to know who I am. Think of all this stuff I've done. You got to recognize me. Listen to what the Bible says here. 1 Timothy 3 and 16. And without controversies, great is the mystery of godliness. God will what? Manifest who was? God will manifest in the flesh. And what manifestation in the flesh happened? Jesus. Jesus, Philip, when you've seen the Father, you've seen me. When you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Without controversy, the greatest the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up. Who is this talking about here? Jesus. Manifest. He was manifest in the flesh. Justified in the spirit, seen of angel, preached unto the Gentile. Who did that? Jesus did. Jesus Philip, when you seen me, you seen the Father. Without controversy, the Bible says here. Great is the mystery of godliness. Without controversy, ain't no controversy in this. They are one. When you seen Jesus, he said, When you see me, you seen the Father. Ain't no controversy about this here. They're one. Me and my father are one. You know? Without controversy. Great is the mystery of godliness. God was, he said, great is the mystery. But it ain't without, it's a mystery, but it ain't without, it ain't with controversy, it ain't without controversy. Great is the mystery. And without controversy, great is the mystery. I believe it. I accept. I accept Jesus as God manifesting in the flesh. I have no doubt, no question about it. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. The same which was in the beginning, with God. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the Bible tells us that, and by Jesus, all things were made by him. What? And without him, was nothing made. Thank God ever made. In the beginning was God. Who is this God? Jesus. Yeah. Without him, was nothing made ever made, sister. Yeah. The same. God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentile, believed on in the world, and received up into glory. To know Jesus. If we don't know, we're going to get confused. I heard this preacher say, this bishop, he going on now, he said, man, we gonna, it look like a fool when you go to heaven and see three hats on one head, on one body, three heads sitting on one body. He was trying to indicate that that's three gods. He, you get to heaven, man, there are three heads sitting on one body. I said to myself, man, look here, you, 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 you a bishop. Jesus told Nicodemus, are you a teacher, a ruler of his and know not these things? And this man, this was a bishop over all the church of God in Christ all over the world. At that time, he was. And he was saying that, listen here, man, that God looked like a freak. So we ain't got no freak God up there. He looked like a freak up there, maybe three heads on one body. I said, no, you the one sound like a freak. The Bible said, God is one. God is a spirit. And that spirit dwells in Jesus. Man, Man, manifest, in, manifest in the flesh. Yes. The same spirit. Yes. And she was just that body. She was just that body. God, uh, God had ordained the man to house himself. Oh, man, God, man, the spirit of God operate that vessel, operate that body, operate that vessel. Yes. Not a one thing happened. It wasn't God. Yes. You know? Not, not, nothing. Jesus, that body was just a God. You know, you know man, uh, uh, man didn't have nothing to do with it. 
The Bible says he didn't come by the will of blood, not by the will of flesh, not by the will of man. But God, but the will of God. That lets you know right there, man, this has to be God. Anything that man don't have nothing to do with, this has to be God. Has to be. Man didn't, man didn't have nothing to do with that. You know? Peace it. Jesus told Philip, said, Philip, because I've been with you all this time, you don't know me. Sister, sister, uh, Deborah, we got to know him, don't. That Deborah, gonna, he, the Bible says he's the most subtle beast of the field. And we don't know who Jesus is. He got a way of getting around that and, man, confusing your mind. He got around confusion, make you think, well, man, they just, they got to be three called The way the Bible speaks, sometimes we read the Bible, Jesus prayed unto the Father, that, that, that flat, and it'll have your mind so confused, how you thinking that, man, that is three. That's another one. All they but one. One. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. God told us, I says, I know no other God beside me. There's no other God. That's none. That's none with me. So there ain't another God up there. Isaiah said, there's none with me. There's no God with me. That means what? He's alone. He's by himself. He's alone. No God with me. He ain't got the Father and the Son up there. Uh -uh. Man, he was God in creation, Son in redemption. And now he's this Holy Ghost in the Spirit. Three manifestations of it. You know, there's there, there never been no three of them. And never been no three of them. Just one. Thank God. But we got to know who he is. Yes. Since then, you got to know who you're praying to. Amen. They've got a lot of people. they got a lot of scholars, man. got a lot of big Christian, man. got it all confusing. That's right. yes, Lord. They think there's three gods. There ain't but one. There ain't never been but one. The Bible says the devil believes there's one God. And what do you do? Tremble. Tremble. Yes. The devil believes, and he trembles. Yes. But he's trying to make us not believe. I believe that in Luke when that demon possessed man saw Jesus come. He said, I know who thou art. Are you coming to torment me before time? I know who thou art, thou son of the most high God. Man, he knew him. He, he, the devil knew him. Sister, sister, the devil know him. If anybody know, the devil know who Jesus is. Because he kicked him out of heaven up there. When he exhort himself, so he know who Jesus is, but he's going he to convince us and tell us. Get us believing in the wrong gospel. All the glory go to God. They are. Listen. Listen, let me read this. Luke 24 and verse 49. I'm going to get ready to let you go. But Luke 24, verse 49. Reading this. Yeah, let's read that one verse there. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye what? Be endured with power from up on high. Now, what they said in 1 John, he said, Listen here. If you know God, you're going to hear us. These people, sister, sister, Jesus told me to do it. And on the day of Pentecost, the Bible says there was a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and they were filled with the Holy Ghost. They began to speak, they endured with power. And John said to them, here, listen, if you know God, you're going to hear us, because what we receive come from God. We obeyed what Jesus taught us, and we hung around out there 10, 11 days, and man, and a power from heaven came. And he gave them the gospel, and they know what spirit they were speaking by. He said, if you know God, you're going to hear us. You know, so we got no, if we don't know God, man, never gonna tell us anything. We be, be listening to anything, yes, believing anything. I tell you, but we got to know who Jesus. We got to pray. God help me to know you. Paul said that I may know Him. You know, and the power of resurrection and what the fellowship of His suffering. Yes, yes. 
Yeah. He may come from since then. Yeah. But we got to know. We got to know who Jesus is. Bible says John 16, 13 through 15 says, when he, the spirit of truth, is come. This is death. When he, the spirit of truth, is come. There's one thing about it. He ain't, ain't no teaching no three gods. Amen. When he, the spirit of truth, come, he's going to guide you. Into all. When he, the spirit of truth, is when the spirit of truth come in, he's going to guide us into all truth. One thing about it. One thing about the spirit of God that don't lead you into a lie. It just ain't going to do that. It ain't going to lie to you. It's going to lead you into all truth. You may not come into that truth right all at once right now, but let me tell you, it'll lead you there. It'll get you there. You may not have all that truth all at once. Thank God, but God had begun be to, like he's done everybody else. He's done me that when I prayed, got saved, and I was believing some stuff, you no, know, because somebody was saying stuff, and I believed that. But as I grew, the Spirit of God began to lead me, had me to know better. I learned better. I got that, that wasn't right. It'll lead you. And God, you know, that's one thing about the whole go for. He come to lead you and guide you in all truth. And you got to know who he is. You know, know who he is. Jesus told Nicky, Nicky, you must be born again. If we don't be born again, we ain't going to know. You can't know him. You can't know Jesus unless we get born again by the Spirit of God. It ain't something all oh, that you got to wrestle with. You got to do all this and all that. It just, it's leash and got you. It's sustained. It helps you. I know some people say, well, I got the whole goal, man. Let me get all outward stuff and doing all that, just making a big, uh, uh, man, a big, uh, 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 big hooray, uh, uh, hoopla and all this stuff, whatever the things is. They make all that stuff because of the whole goal. Remember, the whole goal is a keeper. It's a guide. Bible says don't puff it. It don't show us. It don't puff. It ain't he puff up. It ain't varnish itself. Yeah. Who's gonna get it and try to uh, make itself known? He just do. Just do what it's supposed to do. It don't get out there and try to make itself well known. And look, I'm the Holy Ghost. I'm this. I'm that. Uh uh. The Holy Ghost just act. Yeah. You know. It leads you and guides you. You know. The Holy Ghost make don't make you make a fool of yourself. <laughs> People make fools and they blame on the Holy Ghost. Get up there. You, know? you don't get up there and tell who this guy was saying. Come say this. He said. Get up there and testify in church. That's all better. So he's looking. If you got a testimony, testify. If you ain't just leave, going to get up there and make it. Man, I went to that. This com comedian said that. I went to this. Uh, said I went to this uh, store, I believe it's Payless or somewhere. Man, I bought some shoes in church testifying. I bought some shoes. Man, I had my receipt, and I can't, and they didn't fit right, and I can't them back. And said, so, man, they, they, they gave my money back. Oh, thank you. He said, listen, man, that was no miracle, God. That's a store policy. Is that you? <laughs> so, they just got it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. They gave me my money back. He said, man, that ain't no miracle. That's a store policy. They give you. Sometimes, sometimes we, it don't make you act crazy, you know. I mean, you enjoy when the whole go do stuff for you. I mean, you enjoy, you be excited about it, but stuff like that, you know. You, you just try to probably make up something, but, you know. So, man, that's a store positive. There ain't no, there ain't no, no miracle from God. <laughs> I mean, no, that's true. Thank God. Give him a hand and pray, will you? Appreciate the Lord. Father, thank you. Well, I appreciate you. I love you. I enjoy you. There's something about that name, God. There's something about that name that I have confidence in. It makes me feel some kind of way. And I thank you for it. Thank you for choosing me. And thank you for not letting my heart get hard and reject you. Thank you, Lord, for letting me accept you to be my everything, my all in all, Lord. I, I know we come up short, but God, I still accept you. I confess you, and I thank you today. Lord, for speaking with us, Lord, I, I pray. Help us to be anchored. Help us to be on a solid rock, God, that we don't know who you are. If we don't know who you are, Lord. We probably can't get nothing going on because we don't know who you are. But I thank you. Jesus' name. Give him a hand and pray. We appreciate the Lord. I thank God.
Yeah, some people try to make a give God. I guess they try to get glory out of everything, right? But you know, you got a receipt and they give you money back. Yeah. I mean, thank God for that, but that ain't no miracle. It's just like that's still possible. Thank God. We appreciate the Lord. Thank God. We appreciate those you're viewing, all of you at home, listen. We pray when you can get up and get out. We had some smoke beer today, but I guess some having their body. They had told me they're going to try to make it today, but I know they're having problems with their bodies. But I thank God for them anyway. And we pray that God open up stuff and we get enough faith to begin to get back into the house of God. The thing going too long, so still, man, where are we going to be at? What's going to happen? I appreciate those you just sacrifice and pressing your way. I really appreciate that. Let me tell you something. It ain't in vain. Everything you do, so there, but it ain't in vain. God, let me tell you something. You know what? God will not be indebted to no man. That's one thing about God. He will not be indebted to no man. God will not owe no man anything. We're going to be indebted to him. So there Anything you do for God, God's going to reward you for it. He's not going to be indebted to no man, whatever we do. We're going to be indebted to him. I appreciate the Lord today. I thank God for it. We're going to get ready to let you be dismissed. If any have offered me to take it, if not, we just appreciate you. Sometimes I don't even want to ask for it, but two or three years. But uh, if you got more, we'll see if it's not. If not, just point your hand and ask God to. Father, thank you for this offer. Thank you for the person that brought all by this morning. And I thank you for it, Lord. Bless this, return it. Lord, to the give us a hundredfold, multiply. In Jesus' name, by the seed that's sown. And we honor you for it, in Jesus' name. And we thank you. Praise God. Give my hand, praise you. Stand to your feet. Man, I really appreciate all of you. That's a Keeping that press, keeping that fly. I know we'd be doing something else, but it ain't nothing there for me to do, though. It ain't nothing there for me to do. I'd be so glad that Jesus blessed me with the gospel and put this in me. Sometime my body will be feeling it good. That's God. Thank you. Thank you. you know, Father, thank you today. I appreciate you. Mighty God, for these. And I really thank you for Lord, don't let them lose that. Don't let them lose that. That motivation. Don't let move that. God, maybe we can stand in the gap for others. Maybe we can be praying for others, Lord, and standing in the gap. And, Lord, you see somebody just uh, standing in. God, thank you for these that purpose in their heart. God, to. Well, there's reward waiting on us. We may not see it right here, right now. God, they look around here, they may look like the same, but God. I thank you, Jesus. One day when we get to that place where we're going to live forever, then we'll see it. You say, Lord, we understand it better by and by. And we'll see it, God. We see all that we've done for you, Lord. You're going to, I don't know how you're going to do it, but I just say, Lord, you, we can look back and see. You blessed us for this, and you blessed us for that. You brought us in, you helped us because we did this, did this. God, it's just me imagining. But God, I thank you for the mind you have given those that are that are pressing, striving, that are holding up, holding things up. Jesus, I thank you. And God, remember every one of them, even those being at home that pray and those that are praying. And God, remember them, all of us. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I thank you for it. Lord, we agree with those, Lord. Remember the, the bereaved family. And those that God, I, Sister Duran, I talked to her. She said she's doing better. Sister Carter, she was doing better the other day. Lord, I thank you. Mighty God, I thank you. Lord, for hearing prayer and answering prayer. Lord, I agree with those that have a request. In the name of Jesus, bring, let it be so. And I thank you. In Jesus' name, God, give us safe passion as we leave this place. Keep us covered with your blood, Jesus, and keep us hidden, Lord. We, we need this. We got to have this. Lord, we rely on you to, to keep us covered with your blood. And they keep us hidden behind your cross. God, we just can't. We don't know what's out there. You do. And God, you, oh, keep us shielded and protected. In the name of Jesus. And I thank you. Praise God. I appreciate the Lord. Thank God. I can see yourself this. Maybe appreciate you. 
Appreciate your faithfulness and those that have got it up in prayer. Thank God for you.